In this video we're going to take a look at starting new shows and patching with the QuickQ software. First off we're going to go to the file menu over here, and select files and select new show. You need to select new show here, don't be put off where it says erase current show from memory, it's still going to be saved on the disk of the console so any old show files can still be loaded back in. We select new show and now we're in our patch window. You can go to the home screen here or any other window and get back to your patch window by selecting menu and patch. To add some fixtures, select the plus key here and this will bring up the add fixtures dialog. Inside this window you've got the quick or the find option. Inside quick you can see your most recently patched fixtures that you've used on the console. You can quickly select dimmers, so that's things like Fresnels, Parkans, any dimmer type fixture or generic 3 channel RGB LED fixtures here. To find the fixture we select find and now you have a list of all of the manufacturers of lights on the console. Once you select the manufacturer you'll then see the models of the fixture and then the mode. The quickest way to find the fixture is to use the search box. In here you can start typing anything about the fixture. So if I type in here Maverick you'll see any Chauvet Maverick fixture appear here. So I can now select the Chauvet Maverick MK2 spot, select the mode and then down here you select the universe to patch on the console. Universe 1, start address 1 and then quantity, 10 of them. It will automatically increment up by the number of channels of the fixture. You hit patch and then those fixtures are patched. If I come out of the patch window and go to my home screen you'll find any newly patched fixtures at the top of this screen here. With this screen unlocked, with the padlock unlocked here, you can select your fixtures and you can drag them down onto the home screen and lay them out exactly as they are in your rig. Once you've finished laying out this window, you can lock the window using the padlock and now your fixtures can be selected from this window, so you could select your five spots here and you could bring them on like so, as you can see in the visualizer here. Another way of patching, back in our patch window, we can go files, patch there, use the plus key again, we can select a different fixture, let's say find again, let's find a wash fixture this time, so we search Maverick again, MK2 wash in basic mode, this time on universe 2, start address 1, and rather than typing a quantity and patch, you can patch directly onto the left hand faders, and you can do that by simply clicking on the flashing buttons, the ones that are empty, like so, and now I've got one of those fixtures patched. On the console you can press and hold and you could select say 11 to 17 to patch that number of fixtures on those faders in between. Same principle again on the home screen, you'll see the newly patched fixture at the top, unlock the window, click and drag and bring the fixture onto the screen. Now you've got your fixtures patched, we can move on and start looking at programming in one of our next tutorials.